story today is filled with some pretty icky stuff. It's about stealing from each other and hurting people and greed. It's filled with sin, things that separate us from other people and even God. It's really ugly, it's hurtful and scary, and it paints a picture of the worst side of humans where we're motivated only by our own wants and needs and logic rather than God's. The story is pretty grim and it's uncomfortable to read, but Jesus told it to teach us about something called restoration. That's a pretty big word. Some of you might remember that there was a bunch of construction at the elementary school last year. The ground was dug up all around the building and there was construction workers there working to replace parts of the school's foundation underneath so that it could be safe for everybody. And they also put on a new roof and all of this was called restoration. It was making the school better and safer and in a sense healthier if a building can be healthy. So what do you think restoration means for us? What does Jesus want to teach us? It's God's way of coming into our lives to heal us and to help us out with the ugly parts. The parts that separate us from our friends and our family and our community because of fighting and judgment and mean comments and lack of faith in one another. So this story also takes place in a vineyard, and Jesus has used vineyards in his stories before, like we heard a couple weeks ago. But there's one of them that's called the vine and the branches, which isn't necessarily this story, but I'm going to use it to talk to you anyway. So in it, Jesus said that God is a gardener, and that he, Jesus, is the vine, and we are the fruit. And in this example, this string is the vine, is Jesus. And when we live in God's word and live in Jesus's hope that he gives us in grace, that we can bear fruit, meaning mm -hmm. that we can go do good things in Jesus's name, like showing kindness, kindness, loving our neighbors and living peacefully. You know, the fruits of the spirits, like we talked about a couple months ago. Remember that song that I played? Oh, the fruit of the spirits, not a dragon fruit. Maybe we'll sing that in class today. Um, so anyway, when... Plants have a good, strong vine, like Jesus, it bears good fruit. But sometimes we make poor choices. Sometimes we get into a bind. We hurt someone, we speak unkindly, we disrespect people, and hang on, I forgot a prop. And it separates us from God and others. Have you ever, ever had a fight with someone and you, like, you couldn't be near them because it just made you so angry? That's separation. And sometimes we keep on doing it. We're left with ugly things pain and judgment, separation. We may look whole, but we have these knots that are really bringing us down. But remember that God is the gardener and God can get rid of the bad fruit. Jesus teaches us that God will come in and work in our hearts, get rid of the weeds and the pests and make sure that we have good soil. God restores us. God made a promise to us when Jesus died on the cross and rose again. He forgives our sins and we can try again with a clean slate with no knots. So the story shows us the ugly side of humanity, but it also reveals the goodness of God and the love of Jesus. Amen. Amen.